I'm, I'm right, yeah. I don't want to be on camera about that. Oh, okay, just, yeah. all right then. May, may I ask, are you an atheist or a Muslim or what's, what's your... Do you have a dog in this fight or...? I'm Muslim. Don't, don't record this for us. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your...? I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim, yeah. okay, yeah. fair enough. I agree with that verse, by the way. I'm not going to debate it. Um, the thing is... Now, why would children... As, as, you see, as, you see, as Christians as, and as, Jews, as, we don't as, have as, the equivalent. just with the Bible. Right. I don't take too much context, but I know there's a context in the Bible. Yeah, we can talk about that context, that's fine. Same way in the Quran, it's also a context. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit... If you dig deep into it, there are contexts to it. Oh, I'm absolutely sure, but the people who tell us the context are the earliest scholars of Islam. Those are the people who tell us. I mean, to be fair, Ibn Kathir isn't early, but if you look at the Hadiths, the supposedly the narrations that tell you what that meant and what it was about. Yeah. But the Hadiths, they don't confirm your perspective, they confirm what I'm saying. And, and, and interestingly, that's what happened historically, right? I mean, when, when Muhammad had secured Arabia, but by, basically by the, the time he died in 632, yeah. what happened? Did, did the Muslims go, cool, we'll chill here? No, they were like, okay, now we're going, yeah, and we're going we're, to we're conquer, extend, yeah. and then we're going to go yeah, to yeah. Egypt, yeah. and then we're going to go across and, all and North Rome Africa, and to uh, uh, Al Andalusia, into, into and Spain. Yeah, Roman, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, what, they had mandate. What, what my point is, is why? What they had a why? mandate. The mandate was simple. Yeah. It was they had a but, command but that they believed was to go and to do something. Yeah. I, I agree with that. The there you are then. Then you actually agree with what I'm saying. Yeah. There yeah, we go. I, I agree with that, that was what I was saying. Yeah, I agree with Islam conquering different other lands. But what's wrong with it? Okay, see, well, that that, that, that's what's our point. That was, that was always what I was telling you. That's I, all, that's I, I, all. I, 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 I that's an issue? <laughs> We're just saying. Oh, does someone have a drink? I may or not tell is, is there an issue with that? What, 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 what they did was mandated by the text. Yeah. Okay, that's, and that's the point. And the hadith. What's the issue then? But okay, so, but my friend, we could have got to this a lot earlier if you yeah. were just like, yeah, yeah, sure, what's the issue? Yeah, but what but, is the issue? Um, because the same way the governments in the West have been conquering different lands mm. to establish democracy, mm. okay, what's that? Well, we're not saying only Islam as yeah. ever. Uh, so, what I would say... If you believe something is the truth... Do, do, you, you, know, do you know what it means to be... Wait, 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 yeah. wait, if you believe something is the truth, you're going to spread it out. Yeah, sure. The, yeah, same yeah. Way, the same way the West is spreading out democracy to different yeah, lands. Yeah, I think if you, if you make that analogy, that, that's believe, fair. They believe democracy the, is true. The reason why I don't think... They're spreading out different lands, the same way Islam, Muslim... I, I understand. The, the, re spread it out. the reason why I don't think that analogy works is because in this context you have something called being uh, a dimmy, right? You have dimitude. So the idea is, and this, it actually comes from this verse, right? Let's, let's read the verse, yeah. and then I can go into Ibn Kathir's tafsir, we can go into other tafsirs if you want, but you need to understand how they look at it and what they get out, they get from it. So in Surah Taba 29, if you read the very last part, what does it say here? Until they what? Until they pay the tribute well, by hand... This is Quran. It's, yeah, it's Quran, it's the same thing. It's the same verse. So at Tauba, which is Surah yeah, 9, I-29. Really not believe in Allah. Yeah, Allah. Okay, there's... Okay, yeah. It's the very last bit. Uh, I've heard of the brothers... Until they pay the tribute by hand fully humbled. Yeah. Now, the way that the early uh, and, exegetes... And, and, yeah, and, and, that, and that was people who were captured in war. Uh, well, yeah, it's when you go into the land that you, you conquer them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. What what you do to make them feel fully humbled yeah. is you establish dimitude. Yeah, the, 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 I, I, right? I told you already, it's, it's in war. Okay, it's okay, war. but from my when understanding, captured, the they, West in, if, in democracy... If they're captured, yeah. if they're captured in war, right. Right, they, yeah, they pay the dimi, yeah, to uh, subjugate yeah. themselves. Well, well keep the in mind, that they basically get two or three options here. They either convert to Islam, or they don't convert to Islam, and they happen keep to be religion. people, they happen to be either Christians or Jews, yeah. polytheists aren't, aren't included in this, uh, but then they become a dhimmi, and then they are made to be humbled. Now, the way that Ibn Kathir why, translates why it, he the says... Why Jews running away from the Christians and getting into Islamic lands? You see, you're pivoting again. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, but, well, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, all right, I, 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 give, I, I concede, Islam I concede. So, you know, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, the Christians did all the bad things, the Jews did all the bad things. The Muslims are so, like, war, bloodthirsty... Because it's in your text. Why, why were Jews flocking to Islamic lands? Wait, what? Christians? They were. Like, have you read what Maimonides says? Moses Maimonides no, describes, described Yemen under Muslim control wait, as being horrible to the Jews. Recently, just, just yeah. recently, hundreds of years ago, Jews are flocking to Islamic lands. This was hundreds of years ago. Yeah, but he's yeah. talking about Maimonides. Yeah. Have you read his epistle to Yemen? Again? Maimonides, one of the greatest scholars of uh, rabbinic Judaism, he wrote a letter called the Epistle to Yemen because there was a Jewish community in Yemen, in Saudi Arabia, and he, he basically said, look, the way that the Muslims treat us is terrible. That's what he says. And usually Muslims wait, wait, wait. appeal wait, 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 to Maimonides to... Are you, are, you now, yes, yes. are you now saying that Christians have always treated them... No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Brother, you, you, yeah, come on. You, you, like, I can, yeah, you can be yeah, right about everything you say. I'm not. I'm not. I, 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 just I, wait, I, I, will, I will happily look at any case of Christians doing bad things. No worries. Why? Because I'm happy to call my side out. No problem. So, in certain situations, yes. I would say yes. Wow. Yeah. The reason why... 
The reason why is because the Christians the have lost a lot of land. And KKK who justify their religious... Wait, what? No, no one justifies yeah, the KKK. They do. And killing black people. No, what, no one justifies that, bro. KKK. KKK. No one justifies KKK. Yeah, they justify their... Show me a person in this park who justifies KKK. In America, I'm going, I, I promise yeah, but you, wait, they use their religion, right, Gushani, to cure black people. No, brother. It's, KKK. No. Yeah, I, I, you know, you know. Um. Uh, what's the name of the the, the crazy are you, are you cult of Christians? Um, are you a Gentile, right? I'm. Yeah, I got no Jewish. You're a Gentile, right? Um, so, oh. you, you know, you're called a dog in the Bible. The Westboro Baptist Church, eh? Hey? In the Bible, who's your dog? Where? The Gentiles are dogs. That's what I'm sure. Yeah, we're interested to see that. Huh? Oh. <laughs> um. The Westboro Baptist Church, right? The guy who founded it, Fred Phillips, I think his name is. He was a civil rights activist who often defended black people from uh, racism. He then, later on in his life, decided he really didn't like homosexuality and started the Westboro Baptist. Seriously, this is a real thing. Uh, if you look like at who he was before he did all that stuff, he, was at, he seems like a decent bloke, and then he went mental and became not very good bloke at all. KKK is, is just bad from what I can tell. It was a, it was a Democrat militia wing that <laughs> wanted to get blacks out of certain areas. Uh, because they weren't happy with blacks having rights from the like the some point in the sixties, like yeah. From my research, that's that's what it seems to me. But I, I'll never defend anything like that. That's horrible. By the way, uh, Muhammad traded black slaves. You're aware of that? He said that. He, I've, I've heard that so many times. Oh, well, you should know yeah, then. And, <laughs> you and should I've, know. And I've, and, I've, and I've debated it so many times. But it's in right? hadith, and I can I've show you hadith. So many times, right? It's Sahih. Show me, go on, show me, yeah, yeah. Let me show you Sahih hadith. I'll debate it. Go on, show me again. <laughs> I'll debate it again. Are you, are you happy if it's just me on this camera, right? Yeah, that's right. right. Not you, just me. Because man, you, you need to know this stuff. I know this stuff. What, are, are you going to bring up the reason, Ed? Well, that's what one. But the fact, no, the one I'm going to bring up is. I'm, he, there is a hadith that is, is sahih. Is it the one that said that he slaved one to another slave? Is that, is that the yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, he sold uh, two okay. non-black... Wait, uh, no, he sold two black slaves for one non-black slave. How does that work? I've heard that one, but I've got to bring it up. Let me read it. Well, yeah, let's do it. Um, I've got my list here. Let me just get it up. Uh, Uh, the Prophet said, sell him to me, and he bought him for two black slaves. Yeah. So, Sunan and the Sai 4184. I have it here. We can have a look if you want, or you can bring it up yourself. A slave came and pledged the Prophet to emigrate, and the Prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Then his master came looking for him. The Prophet said, sell him to me, and he bought him for two black slaves. So, the Prophet traded in slavery. Yeah, and he traded also, yeah. two black slaves to one non-black slave. That implies the economic value that the two black slaves are worth less than the one uh, non-black slave. Just a bit of trivia. Do you know when Saudi Arabia banned slavery? It was in the 60s. I don't, I don't really care about Saudi Arabia. <laughs> okay, Saudi Arabia well... Does, Saudi Arabia doesn't represent Islam, by the way. Sure, all right. It's, 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 okay, they're, they're, they're you know, I mean... Country. All right, you know, I'm they honest with that. I mean, the British, not, the British put the really, Saudis in, right? It's not... <laughs> so, they, they don't really yeah. represent Islam, by the way. Okay, okay that's fine, that's fine. But, but what, my what, point what is, is that... that, again? Show me that yeah, yeah. Sunan and Nasai. Hang on. Uh, give me a second. Right, Sunan and... Sorry, give me a sec. My phone's being weird. Oh. Who's in the rated by? Oh, I'll tell you in a sec, sorry. Is it um, uh, yeah, 4184. Sooner than the side, 4184. Uh, when my phone lets me ring it up. Uh, it was, yeah, it was Jabir. Okay, read it out. It was narrated that Jabir said, a slave came and pledged the prophet to emigrate, and the prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Wait, so wait, he was wait, already wait. a slave. Pause, 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 yep. pause. The prophet did not realize he was a slave. Carry on. Yes, okay, Carry yeah, on. yeah. Then the master came looking so, for him. Did the, did the camera get that? Well, yeah, well, the prophet did stuff. not realize he was a slave. So carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then his master came looking for him. The prophet said, sell him to me, and he bought him for two black slaves. Okay. We can read the last bit if you want. Yeah, but read it, yeah. Then he did not accept the pledge from anyone until he asked, is he a slave? Okay. 
And what happened after when, when he bought the two slaves? What happened? Well, it's irrelevant, isn't it? Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, okay, no, 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 no,
Give me evidence he was freed. No, no. No, I don't believe it's freed. You, you said. I don't believe it's freed. Well, no, no, no. You I don't believe it's freed. You show me evidence it's freed. See, this is how childish this is. How childish this is. Come on, show me who's freed. Show me who's freed. You made a claim. All right, you can't prove he was freed. And you can't prove it as well. Huh? You can't prove the problem was a master or a slave. No, all we know is that Mohammed bought him from him. Yeah, he's he free. Okay, yeah. so if you buy someone, he's you're not immediately free. He, he's paid money. Yeah, right? to do what? To buy to a slave. Him. The he same just... way that Prophet Mohammed released Bilal, the same way that he's released him, right? The same way, the same way, the same way he's released him, right? The same way that those two slaves were released. So now show me that Prophet Mohammed was a master of the slave. Show me. Show me he was a what? Show me that it was a master of the two slaves. Master, show me. master of two slaves. Yeah. Well, he had two no, no, black show slaves. Me. Show me. He already had two black slaves. Show me where it says that. In the hadith, it says he already had two black slaves. No, no, no. He you traded said. the two black slaves no, no, no. for said. one non-black slave. That implies no, no, no. that a non-black slave is worth more slaves. than the two black slaves. The verse you read it yourself, it said the Prophet Muhammad did not know that we were slaves. That, why is that relevant? It is relevant. Does that sound relevant to you in some way? <laughs> Do anyone here think that sounds relevant? Doesn't sound relevant to me, my friend. So no, how are we on the same boat? Anyway, it's all it's all biased anyway. Anyway, I don't my, really friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, come on. Come on. Muhammad sold and he bought slaves. Look, that therefore is sunnah claim, to do it. You made a claim to say the Is it sunnah to buy and trade slaves? Is it is it sunnah to buy and trade slaves? Second. Is it sunnah to follow the example of the Prophet to buy and sell slaves? By the way, I could go what say sunnah. Tell me where does it say that? Well, I know, I'm asking you. Well, no, you know, I'm asking you, where does it say that? Do you reckon we're under threat today, lads? Why, 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 why? What's the threat about T-H-R-E-A-T? Thank you, thank you. Why is it that I have to prove this? I asked you a question, is it sooner to do it? What that? Where it? Go back to work. Excuse me, go where? Go back to work. Let's go, Brandon. Back to work. So, where is work? Well, I don't know where you're working. You seem to be at work, isn't Are you taking offence? No, don't let him just, I don't know. Are you gang stuff? We're having a conversation here. Yeah. Go back to work. But why work? Huh? Because you're at work. Hello. Yeah, am I getting paid? Huh? I don't know if you are not. You have to shop on them, but go back to work. We're having a conversation. Excuse me. Go back to work. We're having a conversation. Excuse me. Go back to work. Excuse me. Go back. Just to learn some manners. He's, he's not gonna. You know, learn some manners. some manners. You butted in. What are you talking about? Well, that is true. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you responded. <laughs> I mean, it could be wrong here. I can't listen to you. Can't really but it. rudeness does not beget rudeness, does it? Really? All right. Okay, I'm sorry for butting in. All right, cool. But he's speaker's corner. It's not yeah. that cool. You're right. It's, it's speaker's corner. But at least has some manners. Telling me? Yeah, because you butted in. We're having a conversation. Okay, each one, teach one then. Please, thank you, excuse me, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. And, and, you should, yeah, and you should have said, sorry, can I have a conversation, can I join in? Should. When you say yeah. should. Yeah, you should. Should what? You should have said, sorry, should. can I join in? You're telling me should. Yeah. So, uh, excuse me, would you mind if I joined in your conversation? Yes, I would mind, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, would you mind if I joined yeah, in? If you, want to have, if you want to come in, yeah, that's fine. What about hecklers? What about heckling? Is heckling allowed? Who's setting the rules right there? There's no rules right there, it's free for all. Huh? Yeah, he's a pastor. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Heckling, heckling here. Yeah. Yeah. He minds though. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the gentleman. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate well. that. That's really nice. Okay, so I could actually make this claim worse, and I could talk not just about the fact that Muhammad had slaves, but the fact I've, that he had I've sex with slaves. I've debunked it already. You haven't. I've debunked it already. I've debunked, <laughs> it? I've debunked it already because you, even you didn't know that. You know, what, mate. The camera will tell you whether anyway. whether or not you yeah, that was debunked. Well anyway, yeah, I've debunked it. So okay, anyway. what about the claim that anyway, Muhammad? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Now go it's my ahead. chance to go to the Bible now. All right, then. All right, let's right. do the Bible. You've been going the Quran. That's fine. That's fine. I, I accept that we have been talking about it. I'm going to go into the Bible now. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Hit me with your hardest one. Yeah, that's fine. In the Bible. Go on. Do you believe that it's perfectly preserved? Perfectly preserved textually, no. no. So why do you believe, why do you wholeheartedly believe in the Bible that it's not preserved? Because I believe that the meaning has been preserved. How has it been preserved? It's been preserved through prophets and through the Holy Spirit. But you've just said that it's not been preserved. The text, like elaborated, yes, the text. So the text is preserved. <laughs> so for example, when a yeah, scribe... Wait, wait, could, what? You, okay, you let me elaborate then. Let me elaborate Bible, to help you. Okay. You asked me about perfect preservation. And I said, textually, no. What I mean by that is I, I know full well that there are variants in manuscripts. Okay. What that demonstrates is that at some point, scribes have made errors when making their copies because they're human beings and they wrote things and made errors. Wait, Sometimes wait, 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 they misspelled things. Sometimes they wrote things in the margins and likewise so Bible, with Islam. So now the Bible is now written by men, right? Yeah, we believe that the Bible is written by man and inspired to the Holy Spirit, my, 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 which is not the same as Islam. Is, has the Bible, has verses been taken out? Verses have been taken out. Yeah, yeah there, there is argument to make that omitted? some parts may have been lost. And how many, how many have been omitted? How many? Have, have been omitted, yeah. Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. But like, for example, you said a longer ending remark, there's doubt about that. It's 27 verses that have been omitted from the Bible. Okay. Yeah, so that, so that shows you and proves to you the Bible's corrupt. Wait, wait, what do you mean by corrupt? It's been corrupted. It's what? been omitted. 
Twenty seven verses. Wait, wait. So wait, omitted, wait, wait. wait, omitted means corrupt. No, omitted no. means corrupt. Of course it is. Okay, so in that case, then, in your religion, in your religion, don't digress. No, 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 no. You've just, you've just, he just refuted Islam. You've just refuted Islam, bro. You've just refuted Islam. Ubay ibn Kab had 116 surahs. Your Quran has how many surahs? 114. Omitted means taken out. Yes, you've lost two surahs. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. Bismillah. The Bismillah is that verse. In he's every single Sora. He's digressing. No, no, I'm Stick just no. Bible. Your criteria refute your I'll own belief. You. Hold on, I'll read you now. The I answered verses. your questions, bro. I'll read it to you one second. Oh, yeah. Fine, I'm just going to agree with it. I don't know what the point is. So you but, agree, yeah? But you said so you if verses are omitted, okay, so it means it. corruption. Do you agree with it? My point is, do you, you agree with it? is the Quran perfectly preserved? Has been taken out in the Bible. Yes we, no? There is a case to be made that some yes verses no? have been lost in the Bible. Yes. Has has the has the Quran? Wait, 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 wait. Is the Quran perfectly preserved? I just answered you. What, what, what did you answer? I said textually, there's yeah. a case that, to be made that some parts have been lost. Have, yes. So some verses have been lost and been taken out. Yes. Been taken out. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so you could argue, wait, for example, wait, wait, wait. So that the you, longer ending of so Mark is the chair, believe, believe but Bible? many Bibles today don't include how can you believe it. In the Bible for example, that verses have been taken out how can because you it doesn't affect any major doctrine of us at all. Because no major doctrine is affected. How do we know this? Through our own scholars like Daniel Wallace, N.T. White, and also atheist okay. scholars like so, Bart okay. Ehrman. Okay. That, Bart that, Ehrman okay. has affirmed okay. on, on camera that, that no major doctrine right, cool. of the Christian right. faith is let's affirmed by no, any variance. No, 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 no. I'm ticked. taking it home. I'm that taking it home. Right, ticked. the Quran is the Quran perfectly preserved. Now, is the Quran perfectly preserved? Is the Quran perfectly that preserved? Is, I, I know. I uh, no, I, I answered your question. Is the Quran no, perfectly I'm preserved? Is the I'm Quran finished. perfectly preserved? I'm not finished. Ladies and gentlemen, he can't answer because by I'm his own finished. criteria, my turn, the Quran my turn. has had things lost from it. According to uh, Ubay ibn Kab, who had 160 surahs. Like no, no, you he's see, you're, you're not being fair. You're, you're, you asked me about my Bob. religious scripture. I answered truthfully and clearly. I then took your method and it demonstrates that your own book is correct. The next step is now, is there any contradictions in the Bible? Contradictions in the Bible. Contradictions in the Bible. Yeah. Are you going to show me any? Yeah, I'll show you some. Is there, okay. I'm asking you, yes or no? Well, my interpretation yes uh, no. is a Quranic one. I yes. think that contradictions... Why are you coming to the Quran? Answer my question. Because you believe in it. Is the Bible, <laughs> is there any contradictions what? in the Bible? Yeah. Is there any contradictions? Yeah. No. Yeah? No. No, okay. So no. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Okay, I'll prove it. Let's go. He's asking you about the Bible, so stop mentioning it. Yeah, he does well, no, because he's a Muslim. He no, no, because I answered it. He does it a lot because he's, he's, oh, right, right. he's scared. Right. He's scared to really defend his own Bible. He's asking about your Again? beliefs and then yeah, yeah. about the Bible. The perfect preservation of the Quran is a myth. No one believes that. No scholar believes that. Even your own scholars don't believe it. But you know full well that you have to believe it, which is why when I turned to the same criteria you applied to the Bible onto you, your Quran, you couldn't answer. Because you know full well you've dug yourself a hole. There's 101 Bible contradictions in the Bible. Mate, I can Google Quran contradictions. The Quran in uh, Surah An-Nisa, yeah, Ayah 82. Have you got a Bible on you? Have you got a Bible on you? Like I've got my phone. But Surah An-Nisa, Ayah 82 says it doesn't matter if there are contradictions in the Quran. It's alright anyway. Alright. The first one, if you want to hear it, is who incited David to count uh, the fighting men of Israel? Huh? Who incited David to count the fighting men of Israel? I don't know. Alright. In uh, Second Samuel 24 1, it says God did. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Chronicles 21 1, it says that Satan did. Mm. Yeah, I've heard that one You've heard that before, right? Yeah. So now you're agreeing with me. Before you said there's, so there's no contradictions. No, wait, 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 wait. I think that's a perfectly easy said, way of Wait, wait, wait. Before you said there's no contradictions. So I'll prove it to you now. I'm you do understand that wait, for every time you do. All right. Wait, type, no, go on Google and type in that same contradiction, wait, answers, wait. and you will find the Christian wait, response exactly. to it. Like this is why I think stuff like this is this is why I don't do this to Islam because it's just silly. Wait, 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 wait. We literally you started asked, off this whole conversation. You asked for truth, right? Mm. Uh, and now you're shaking up. Said, now now you're shaking up. And then he's yes. quote mining. Yeah, yeah, it's quote mining. You see, that's the thing. We for every start, every you, like you yeah. This up as well. You started this whole conversation saying context is important, but then you're quote mining. You've oh, just no, pulled no. out two verses. You can't execute those verses by yourself no. without using your phone, and you're trying to tell us. What? He did the same thing earlier on with his phone. But he pulled up. I'm doing, I'm Wait, doing, I pulled up. I, pulled I went through Ibn Kathir's tafsir with you. I went through Ibn Kathir's tafsir. I showed you hadith. Why are you shaking up? You started this whole conversation. <laughs> why, 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 why are you shaking? Are you going to say why are you stuttering? Is that the next one? Why are you stuttering? It's cold. You literally typed in Bible. Wait, 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 hold on. I know exactly. There's so many. I could do the. I could do the same for the Quran. All right, let me do the same for the Quran. Come on. Who was the father of Joseph, husband of Mary? 
Search for an answer. Matthew, Matthew 1. Have you searched for an answer? Matthew 116, it says Jacob, right? In Luke 3 23, who does it say? It's just Heli, if I remember. Heli, right. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's all about two genealogies. Is that contradiction? Yes, I know. No. Is that contradiction? Because one is the. There are, one, there are, the media of contradiction. I don't know if right? I want to waste a breath no, explaining this to you. You, have no you could just Google it. Google it. Google it. They don't go together. Right. Google it. You know, if you're going to Google, oh, Bible contradictions, click on the first link. Then click on, then search Bible contradictions answer, then click on the first when, link. When it says that the <laughs> Messiah will be the son of David, does that literally mean that it's the direct descent, like son of David, or does it mean that he's a descendant? Did you say Jesus is literally the son of David? Well, anyway, uh, yeah, you said that your criteria for corruption is that verses are missing. The Therefore, way, the Quran has been corrupted because the verse is missing. I'm not going to read out 101 contradictions anyway. Well, no, they will lie for the Quran. It's just silly. Anyway. Yeah, but anyone could come up with answers for any My of these next things. My question to you it was Jesus God? Yes. Are right, we going to do this one? Yes, yeah, yeah. Jesus was God. Show me where it says that he's God. Yeah, John chapter 20, verse 28, when Thomas turns to him and says, My Lord and my God. And then Jesus affirms him in the very next verse. There you go. Say again? John chapter 20, verse 28. Get your Bible out. All right, all right. I'm loving this. Good. I'm going to get to it. Hold on. All right. I mean, arguing that Jesus didn't say he was God is like the silliest thing ever. Because you have to basically just read the Gospels like upside down and blind to not have that interpretation. John chapter 20, verse 28. I don't mind what translation you use. There are no known variants of this verse. Let's read it. And let's see, uh, let's see what kind of interesting reply you come up with. Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah, open up, yeah, I can't find it. Alright. John. Chapter 20, verse 28. Alright. Look at what he's saying, right? Let's read it out again. Okay, Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Another contradiction, right? Go on then. In the John, yep. chapter 30. Oh, you went to okay. Yeah. Myself, Jesus yep. says, myself, yep. I cannot do nothing. Right. I judge only as I hear, and yep. my judgment is for I seek not to please myself, but yep. who, him who has sent me. Yeah. God sent him. What does Trinitarians believe? You said Jesus is God. The yep. Bible says, mm -hmm. this verse I read out, it says that Jesus, God sent him. Right. What does Trinitarians believe? I myself, believe? Hold on. If God what does Trinitarians Jesus, believe? You just took yourself a God, hole. Right? If yeah. Jesus is God, What does Trinitarians how can believe? He say, wait, how can he say that I myself okay. cannot do let nothing? Let me break this down for you. As Trinitarians, how can God let me, say let me I explain. myself I'm explaining. cannot do nothing? Let me explain to you. How, As how, Trinitarians, how? we believe God is not one person. Do you understand this? Well, God is one, not one hypostasis. In Matthew, it's when Jesus fell in his face. Wait, 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 wait. You're jumping, you're jumping, you're jumping. It's all right, relax. I'm so, just, let I'm me explain just, Trinitarianism to you, and you can understand. Yeah. We believe that God is one essence, one yeah. divine essence, one God, in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, when Jesus says he's God, that to us isn't a problem. Because, yes, that's what we believe. God is three okay. persons. So, so wait, 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 wait. Yeah, And then when... Do I, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, let me finish my explanation, and then you can reply. And then when the I'll Father says he's God, like John 17, 3, and a plethora of other places, we also go, yes, that makes sense, because we believe the Father is also God. Awesome. But when the Holy Spirit is said to be God, we go, ah, that also makes sense to us, because as Trinitarians, we believe there's one God, fully partaken by Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, no separation, fully co-equal. When you find verses that are like, oh, that Jesus only does what the Father says, well, yeah, of course we believe that. We believe they're all in unison. We, they can't be separate. It would be a problem for us if Jesus goes, actually, I'm going to do something totally different from what the Father says. That would be a problem for us. So is Jesus the Father? No. So he's, is he God? Yes. Because so what is God? Wait, is God? Is, is the Father God? Yes. Is Jesus God? Yes. <laughs> okay. So when Jesus, in Matthew, when he fell on his face and prayed, who did he Why pray to? Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Who did he pray to? You look like you have something really interesting no, to say, though. I'm sitting on the same topic. Uh, no, you're what? Uh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm Where Jesus arguing Where Jesus, Jesus God. Where Jesus fell on his face. In, in Matthew, Jesus yeah. fell on his face and yes. on his face and he prayed. Yeah. Who did he pray to if he's the God? The Father. Okay, so Have God, you still not got this okay, yet? Okay, so God prayed to the Father? No, Jesus prayed to the Father. Oh my God. You see what I'm trying to say? You're not making sense. You're no. saying that the Father is God. And you're saying that okay. Jesus is God. Who, okay, who is wait, God according wait, so to when us? Jesus, wait, wait, who is so God according to us? When Jesus is the God, right? No, no. We pray. You think God when is one person. Phrase, who did he pray to? We don't to? think that. Who did he pray to? The Father, right? Right. But I thought he was God. How can he pray to the Father? No, because you think God is one person. That's why you're wrong. You that's why you're wrong. No, that's why you're wrong. You still think God is you one person. We reject that. 
Exactly. What is it that makes sense? Why? Because Jesus, you're, you're saying God 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 you're saying Jesus is God, right? So how can Jesus hey, pray to the Father? Oh. 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 Stay safe. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? How can God, how can God pray? How can God pray? Because if God is three hypostases, Father, Son, Holy, who, 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 who is God praying to? Okay, when you say God, are you referring to Jesus, the Father, or the Holy Spirit? You, you just said Jesus is God. Yes. Okay. So, so Jesus then, right? So if Jesus is praying to the Father, why is that a problem? If he's God, who's he praying to? The Father. I've already said this ten times. Okay. Is he God? Yes. All right. So and God is three persons. Yeah. And God is three persons. Yeah. God pray. Jesus prays. Yeah. Father prays. And the Holy Spirit prays. Does God pray? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? What do you mean you can't debate? No, it's because you don't understand what I'm telling you. Jesus got three. Yes. He said there's three gods in nature. Have you read the Bible, the scripture? I never said there's three gods. Who is? Huh? Who is? I never said there's three gods. Yeah, you said there's three gods in one. You said the Father. Okay, wait. Is the Father God? Yes. Is the Son God? Yes. Is Jesus God? Yes. That's three gods. No, they're not inseparable. They're not inseparable. How can he pray in order so they're not separate. Yeah, they're, you cannot it's separate it's them. It's they're inseparable. Illogical, okay, illogical well, Christians, yeah. like respectfully. Is Allah one? Is Allah one? You see, now he's now he's regressing. Is Allah one? In the Quran, it teaches that the God, Allah is one. Is Allah made of parts? Say again. Is Allah made of parts? Where does it say that? No, I'm just asking you. Is he made of parts? I'm asking you a question. Is Allah made of parts? Is Allah made of parts? Where does it say that? The answer is yes. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Does that, okay, so he has two right hands. How many hands does he have? How many hands does Allah have? How many hands? The same way Jews and Muslims believe that God is one. Wait, wait, wait. Christians believe there's three gods. You believe, you, you believe he has two hands? You are, he has two hands. You know your God has two feet and he has, a, he has something called the Kursi, which is the footstool. <laughs> your God has a footstool for his feet. Okay. So your God is two right hands, that's two, two feet, one shin. How many eyes does he have? Okay. Yeah, he, he, and all those parts, and all those parts. So a part is by definition less than the whole. So your God is parts. What's, what's ridiculous hey, bro, you can't I'm defend your own Bible. You can't no, it just is, religion. but you didn't like it. You didn't like it. Do you know that the Quran affirms the you know the Quran affirms the in jail in the Torah? Do you know Do you know you're just embarrassing yourself right now? No, I don't think so. Because you just said Ooh. that Jesus he said there's three gods. No, he never said three gods. Okay, so is Jesus the camera? The camera will show if I ever said three God. gods. Is, is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Yes. Is, is the Son God? Yes. Is the Father God? Yes. How many inseparable. Gods is that? Inseparable. How many gods is that? Inseparable. Is that one snake head? Inseparable one in snake one with divine heads? essence. So is that a snake with three heads? You're not listening to me now. Your Allah's two uh, right hands are they separable? Okay. <laughs> of course they are. God is one. Your God has two right Islam hands. Islam teaches monotheism. What, with two right hands and one shin and two two feet? You know he has fingers on his hands? You know that? Yeah, okay. You know the hadith says he has fingers on his hands? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, show me. Uh, I, I know you're going to show me. Well, what do you mean? I know you're going to show me. Well, what's the point then? Yeah, but that, that, whatever you're reading, it's, yeah. not, it's not literal. You, you don't understand that, right? You know that every... Uh, it's not literal. Because so you're not Sunni not Islam? You're not Sunni then? Say again? You're not Sunni Islam? Yeah, I am Sunni, yeah. No, all, all sects of Sunni Islam will accept that it's literal. It's not literal. You are, you are the fall of Islam. You are the fall of Islam. It's not literal. The Shia can say that. Wait, the so, Sufis can so, say so that. Wait, not so the Sunni. When we say God as He, right? When we say He, is that a man or a woman? Okay, I don't believe it. What do you mean by that? In that do, you sense? Mean, do you know when you say God as He? Well, we say it's God as the divine essence. So the divine essence so, doesn't have a gender. So, so when God energy. says we, does, does that mean that there's multiple gods? No. Exactly. Your, your God says we. Exactly. Right. It's not literal sense. Right, but that has nothing to do with the literalness of his anthropomorphic body parts. Exactly, my whole point. It's, it's talking about in my team. It's, it's talking about in like sort of context. The way you're talking about it, you're talking, you're thinking literally. I, I accept the, the, what the earlier scholars say, the, what the Salafs tell you, and the Salafs say, look, we, yeah, we affirm it. Who's the Salaf? That they, they affirm the mana, but they do not affirm uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, case. They do not say the how. Who's Salaf? The, uh, uh, the first three generations. The follow the prophet. Who are they? Jesus, who are they? Yeah. Uh, Abu Huraifa, no, no, no. Ibn Abbas. In Arabic, they call okay. Atabi, 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 and people. Atabi, Atabi. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. They, they, they are the generations of the prophet. Yeah, and they're the Salaf, aren't they? Say again. They're the Salaf. Yeah, this is wrong. Yes. 
No, who are the Salafis? What? So who are the Salafis? I don't know what you just said. No, you, I'll ask you, who are they? You made a claim, so who are they? Um, the, what do you call it? The Sahaba, the uh, Tabi, um, Tabi'un and Tabi or Tabi'un, or however you pronounce it, yeah. Which I just said. Right, yeah, so why are you asking me that? Wait, you, I'm trying to correct you, that's why. Yeah, look. But we agreed the same thing. Yeah, look. Yeah, but you said something else. You see, you mentioned all the names. You, you know who I just named, right? Who did you name? Abu Huraifa. This is, this is the yeah. index, yeah? Ibn Abbas. Okay. Do you know who Ibn Abbas is? Yeah, yeah, but you made a claim okay. saying that they are the Atabi Tabi. Ibn Abbas is the, is the uncle of your, of your prophet. You understand that? Ibn Abbas is the un is one of the uncles of your prophet. Yeah, I'm not denying that. Okay. Do you know who? Um, I'm not do you know who I'm Abdullah Mutalib is? Who's Abdullah Mutalib? I'm, I'm not debating that. You don't my, know much about point, this. My whole point is right. right. You made a claim that 51. there's three gods. I never said the three gods. It never said the three gods. It never said the three gods. She was shocked at what you said. Never said there were three gods. I believe she was shocked at the two right hands and the shin and the two feet. God. Your, your, your God has a throne that he sits above and he has a footstool that he puts his two feet on. It's not a literal throne. Okay. The, the Salaf thought it was. No, where does it say that? God cares them. Show me that it's a literal sense. All right then. In this life, I'm going to Google right now. God is the throne life literal? And, the life after. and what is it going to tell me about Sunni Islam? What's it going to tell me? Okay. About Al Qudsi. What's it going to tell me? Promise them. Uh, sorry, not Al Qudsi. The sorry. Uh, and and uh, Al Ash. A bad punishment. A symbol. Is Allah's throne. Literal. That's what it's all about. It is proven in the Quran and Sunnah by the consensus Ijma of the Salaf of this Umar globalism religion that Allah is above his heaven and above his throne. Yes, they believe literally he is. If it's Jesus God, what about this is the opinion of the Salaf. You're, mate, you're not a Sunni Muslim. You, you're left. Do you accept? Do you accept? I reply to what he said. Okay. I reply to what he said. Okay, I'm looking at Islam Q and A, and it's the green one. So it's the um, okay. Athari. Okay, so I'll read it for you. You said that Allah has four hands and whatnot. I'll yeah, according to Hadith. I'll read it to you, right? All right. So Uthman ibn Sa'id. Do you know who that is? Even we have. Uh, what, do you, what do you get? Usman ibn Sa'id at uh, Darimi. I don't know that one. No, no, okay. not So obviously we know the concept of metaphors from the language of Arabs. Sure. Right? In Arabic, they had metaphors. Yeah. You're, you're, you're equating English and Arabic, which are completely two different languages. There's metaphors in Arabic, which are different to English. So I'll, I'll continue anyway. I'm, I'm literally reading what the earlier Salaf said. So Ibn, so Ibn, Ibn Sa'id, he said that metaphors in the Arabic language, they had, they had their own concepts. Okay? By this concept, there's a reality of divine attributes. Do you believe that? Do you understand that? So I guess so? That there's divine attributes. Uh, yeah, in your religion, yeah. Oh, brother. Good to see you, man. How you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm trying to make the sound in Arabic. They had Jesus. He's cherry picking. Wait, what? No, no, I, I'm quoting, standing firmly in the Salaf. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that. In, in Arabic. Is what I'm saying wrong? Did the, did the Salaf say that Allah is above his arsh, his throne? They did say that. It's even in the Quran, you know, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. You said it was a metaphor. You said it's not literal. It's not a literal throne. Okay. All right. But you are from a literal. Is that literal language? You can't equate the Arabic language with English. They're completely different. You're going against the Salaf. They're different. Arabic and English are different. You're going against the teachings of the Salaf. Arabic and English are different. You can't equate them. Was it uh, Al Asuna Al Wajma? You're going against them. No, Al Asuna Al Wajma. Is Allah? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a debate. That's a debate. Who is the rightly guided? Who? who I don't know. It's a debate. But the point is, is that you, what you are going against the Salaf. Are his attributes such all? Are his attributes such all? Are his attributes such all? What are the attributes? Are the 99 names? I don't know, I'm all off by heart, but do you affirm those are Yeah, but do you believe they're literal? They're literal then, are they literal? Okay, so so he, he hears. Okay. So is that literal sense? But he hears, that's an attribute of him. He is the all hearer. Yeah, he's all hearer. Right, so he hears sounds. He's all knowing. So he hears sounds. He's all knowing. Most, most loving. If he hears sounds, then he's like his creation. 
Yeah, 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 Wait, what? Not in a physical <laughs> sense, in a literal sense, yeah, but not a physical sense. Exactly. So the same way God is all loving, all knowing, it's not actual physical sense. I've never said it was a physical sense. I said it's a, I said it's a literal sense. If Allah hears everything, right, that means that he, there is some way in which He is related to creation. Do you understand? They are, it's not literal. You don't even affirm His attributes. You're not a Muslim. You're not a Muslim. I am a Muslim. You, you don't affirm are, his attributes. Cool. You don't no, no, affirm. No, no. You're relating. Yeah. You're, you're conforming, right? right? A human being to God. We're not the same. In, in your Quran, in Surah 42, Ayah 11, he says he's the all hero. Yeah, we can't Afro you, can't, you can't think of God as yourself. Not, he's the creation no, no, of human God, beings. Allah tells you to think of him that way. Allah tells you he's your hero. You're equating to human beings. No, no, Allah is equating himself to human you're not, you're beings. In his ayah, in Surah 42, ayah 11, he says he is the all hero. No, you believe he is. You believe he is. You believe he has a shin, two hands. You believe he has two right hands. No, I'm telling you what your belief is. The Salah thought that Allah had two right hands.